The Buffalo Catholic Diocese is hoping for a year full of healing after a 7 Eyewitness News I-Team investigation into clergy sex abuse led to the resignation of Bishop Richard Malone. We get the story tonight from 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya. 2020 brings a new beginning for the Buffalo Diocese. The new year for the church in Buffalo is going to be a year of reconciliation and healing as we continue to um, work through uh, the troubles of the past. Healing that will be led by interim Bishop Edward Scharfenberger. It seems like he's actually trying to make a difference, that he, he realizes that it needs to be a spiritual, it's our, our church's soul is hurting and it needs healing. We need to um, work on uh, making sure that, uh, that we live what we say and what we preach. Father Don Watkins has only been a priest for six months, but he says he's prepared to work with the new bishop as he leads the church forward. We've been given a great challenge, is, is how that feels. Both Bishop Scharfenberger and Father Watkins say they believe transparency will help mend the relationship between clergy and laity. So we hope that uh, at some point in time that we can properly restore trust to all those who uh, had that sense of trust violated by uh, really criminals. They were, they were criminals. No one knows how long it will take, but Father Watson says restoring that trust will begin this year. 2020 is when the process starts. It is going to take time. I don't think it's going to magically be fixed this year, but I, I think with a new year and, and new changes, there, there'll, there'll be a renewed sense of hope. In Buffalo, Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.